the way from uh, the legendaries uh, Israel and Nalu. Some of you still call him uh, Exile, but he prefers to be called uh, Israel as there was some change of names there. And uh, now today on the show, we decided to get off easy, uh, the producer, just to get it from uh, a different perspective from the making of the song. Last time we had a conversation with Director Law, who collected me saying he doesn't like to be called the DJ Law, but now he calls himself Director Law. I don't know if Easy anytime soon is going to be changing his name. <laughs> I am, Achan. Mm, uh, yeah, best, best. Achan, the woman, Achan. Strong, strong. You're strong. surviving. I'm surviving, bro. Yo, that song by Israel and Nalu. Ah, Mundwandi. Yeah, last. You don't freak up with the sun. Yeah, I really had fun yeah. making the song with uh, the big man, you know. Let's start with the making uh, from Easy. The yeah. making of the song, the challenges when you're making the song, before we get to the other agendas. Maybe we started from there. That song right there. What was the input in that song? On my end? Yeah, on your end as a producer. Nothing. I was just having fun. Like, it was taking me back to the old me. Mm. Yeah. Remember back back in 2018-19, there's a certain sound I used, uh, I used to play around with, the electronic uh, thing. Remember the sensei kind of beats, yeah. the Grammy that you remember feel. So I was like, let me take myself a little bit back and have fun with it, you know. Mm. Mm. So I was just fusing in a lot of stuff. Let's talk about you. Uh, the last time we had the conversation, I still remember. You were even reminding me that was in 2019. 2019, yeah. Now we are in 2024. But how has it been for you on the production aspect? It's been great. It's been great. Uh, just been having back and forth with the artists. Mm. You know, there are some that feel like they own you. They want to control you a certain way, like like you like like we all know, like producers are not really really respected accordingly. So there are certain artists that would want to control you a certain way. Which certain way are you talking about? Uh so le- let me say uh we're mostly deprived from uh claiming for uh, claiming for us is our royalties, of course. Royalties and publishing. So we, we, we tend to have conflicts with the artists when it comes to that. You know, they even raise their voices like, bro, I've paid you. Uh, you, you go like, bro, would you pay them for mechanical service, not buying the song? Mind you, I own the masters as a producer. You get my point? Mm. So I've got the right to claim for my varieties because at the end of the day, the artists who get uh, the artists who get their own report, I'll get my own report. So in at the end, they won't get my report. I'm going to try them signing and all that agreeing with the artist. Give me a point. Mm. Artists feel to say that money they'll get now about two thousand dollars of YouTube and all that. They feel to say we're going to split that money. Bear in mind to say the other part, my part as a producer. So long as I didn't do signing and all that. It will just stay idle like that. That's the thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's why we really need a serious, serious uh, workshop at the end of the day. Because ish, I don't know, sorry to say this. Mm. With most artists, they feel they own everything. But they're forgetting to say, as the producer, I, as the producer, I own the masters to that song. Uh, 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 this conversation that you guys sit down before the the, the recording of the songs with they the run. artist, uh, or maybe they, could they have run. Been. Okay. Yeah, they run away. They wouldn't even want to work with you. So the best way to do it is let's work, have the song. It's nice. They want to collect it and then you talk. Yeah. Otherwise, a, a situation where I go like ah, before you even begin working and all that, they will be like ah, they can just go for a call. Before, when they go out there, they'll go preach a, a certain type of uh, info to other people. Last week we had a conversation with uh, King Natch, yeah, yeah. right? You were talking about uh, the charges, mm-hmm. uh, the amounts that producers charge. Yeah, from you as easy, we've never seen you 
put out your price tag saying this is how much I charge for my production this is how much I feel like I'm worth for you to work with me mm-hmm. uh, let's have this conversation is 5,000 okay for you no. as a producer no. or maybe you feel like it's, it should be less or more it's, it, says, it says way too less it says way too less keep in mind uh, you saw that video from Daraba Child by Israel uh I'm sure that video costed it it really costed them uh, an arm and a leg. It was just way too expensive. When you just look at the visual. But are we going to dance to the video? No, we're not. Uh, so at the end of the day I played the major role to give life to that song. Can I point? Mm. So as producers, it is a mechanical charge, but it's something to pay at five pins not enough. It will never be enough. Believe me, when that song blows up and all that, he started having gigs and stuff, they'll make more than the money I was given. So at the end of the day, uh, on my ends, in it, I can never put my red card on uh, social media and say this is how much I charge for production. Why? Why? Mm. Why my I post that in charging so much? Sure. It's just now that I came to see our brother posting his red card, but everything was in dollar. But have, have you ever seen an artist put uh, putting their red card on air and say, this is how much I charge for a song, for a feature, feature and video, for Shan? You've never seen that, right? Mm. Yeah. So everything, disclosure uh, agreement. deal with whoever wants to work with them. Mm. Yeah. So I, as a producer, I'm also an artist. I'm just a musical, uh, I'm just a, uh, an instrumentalist, mm. yeah, not just a vocal artist. I'm an artist as well. So on my ends, I I don't feel it is difficult and can. So take for instance, the hero is in a I become big a certain way. Should I still maintain that same price I said? No, I need to start moving with that, because a time will come when I won't even be praised. I won't even be relevant. So I need to take advantage of that moment to say, okay, I'll, this is my period, this is my moment. Let me make whatever money as I can. But let me not put that price tag. They've got certain beliefs and this is how they work and all that. So I shouldn't work with that person in a culture, yes. Uh, I mean, way, way of working, yes. Mm. Uh, the ethic. For when I have money, I have money. Oh, this, so before I even work with someone, of course, we will have that car. Uh, mini interview like we interact mm. we have that mutual relation you know so as we're working we're comfortable go nice oh from bomba community if so okay nice nice sense oh uh, so uh, you know there's an issue of contrast and shah, 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 shah. i want to work with that i don't want to say ah just give me so much and shah. at the end of the day i also need to to add value because i spend sleepless nights exercising my brains to learn new things such that when I bump in, when I bump myself into stuff that have read, uh, that have an idea uh, about already, it's easy for me to maneuver around that. Mm. Exactly. On a producer's uh, <coughs> uh, perspective, I also want to get to find out from a producer's perspective, mm-hmm. where do you think or feel the industry, from the artist, from your experience, mm-hmm. it needs to change. We need order in the industry. Yeah, we need we need <laughs> hey, we need order. Yeah. I swear, we need order. We need serious, serious workshops. We need a proper, proper structure. Imagine a chicken without the head. Imagine how it it would it would work and it would move. Mm. Yeah. So we need ah we need we need order. At the end of the day, there's so much that we need to learn. There's so much that we need to learn. I swear. Otherwise, yeah, quite all right. There's a there's a bit of some change. We we might say major, but there's a bit of some change. It's just the looks, but there's a lot that we need to work. Uh, to, we need to work on as a, as an industry as, as the the whole industry. It could be film, it could be music and stuff. I mean, also my videos if you've seen, but I charge a corner my the pin and machine and all that. Artists won't complain because they want that quality, right? Mm. But at the end of the day, listen to the audio. Is it matching with the video? No, it's not. Then there are some audios that will sound better 
but all video will be copied is an punch but video are a drop share audio so i don't get the nani can cuz companies i have to say audio are drop person of the video it's mm. different from here mm-hmm. yeah abana am sorry dura sana audio than video yeah but here it's other way around we respect her uh, video son but i'm not trying to bring down about my videos or anything at the end of the day people dance to the audio and not the video mm. and so they end up side they were producer <laughs> <laughs> let me put you on spot man right now yeah. you are a producer so many times you ask artic saying give us your top three who are your top three zambian producers that you think are doing the most in the country doing the apart most apart from yourself doing the most Melody sound deck mm-hmm. that's one uh with you on the mbalure mm-hmm. kinachi okay. chapo chapo <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. i'm not really friends with them yeah but i'm loving what they, i'm loving whatever they're doing mm. yeah i love what they're doing okay you're not my friends nice mm. is there any advice that you give maybe to uh an upcoming artist who's watching right now the dream I've always said this their dream is just music but they don't know what they need to be expecting in this journey which one is my camera this, this is your camera okay mm. so upcoming artists listen to me hey listen to me clearly do not go for producer monat mukuru mambe kula tarika no mutengo work na uri omuntu omwe nga bidzi na chemistry ya mano na mko sana uri wena producer mono we mwaiche when you gain certain popularity and make certain amounts of money then go for that big producer for now stick to that nana kare producer don't know we mudu mudia fia mwisa mpange chongwa ah we shansha tombo kuda star respond pamwera mambo ba ka screenshot mukare ke that's one profession stick to that same nana kare producer don't know we don't want to know we na ifito ambi na na artist of each one else Eba pisha pa, mwele bongo wana kinchenzo wana tripo yu mando, yuko tuwa mbiye na bina bada bina. So, na yuwe stick to that producer, wana mwache mnowe wana mudu. Hope I'm clear. You only had advice for Zindio Karipi. Okay. <laughs> Easy the producer. Thank you very much for coming through. I know we were supposed to talk about so many things. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. There are the, 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 the always conversations. There are always things that we need to get to find out right there. Too much. Uh, but is there any artist that you're pushing under your production? Any other artist? Mm. Artist? Mm. Okay, well, maybe are we planning to have your own record label somewhere as a producer? Not now, but yes. Okay. Not now, but yes. Mm. Yeah. You guys were close with Akolaskin. Are you still good friends? He's my home. Are you still guys recording? Yeah, he comes. Okay. Yeah, he comes. I just feel a bit interested. Mm. People understand all that, but you know, kura wako ya kuwati. Shira muda shita kwa prioritize event filmi, stuff like that. Or maybe yes, as I'm afraid, ah, you're not really clicking accordingly. Like like I said, at the end of the day, it's business. So umuntu nga sa mfoko cha ndipo kubomba kona abantu abali ko organize and all that you allow them to do that personally i don't attach myself to artists but otherwise is my own boy mm. we talk once no prodigal son so far nah nothing like that <laughs> we talk man, we talk <laughs> you would go i would go yeah. to ashimika eh yeah, it's my home like that yeah yeah